Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how I tape dog's ears and I don't have the proper tools right now because Lancelot has been done with his ear taping for a few months now. And so I don't need to have proper tools at the moment. But anyway, what I use is the zip tie method and this isn't actually the zip tie that I normally use but it'll do just as well. Normally I would get the white zip ties that are a little thicker than this and when they're in a bag together they curl slightly and the reason I get those is because the ears naturally curl kind of like this and if you want the ears to look like that then the white zip ties that curl are perfect otherwise come here, buddy. Come here oh, good boy otherwise you can end up with dogs ears where the ears fold like this where the, where the tips curl and some people would say use breed right strips or whatever to help that and yeah that does work but I found that the white zip ties work a lot better because you're not trying to fix it you're trying to start from the beginning anyway um so other than zip ties what did I do with that <laughs> I lost the zip tie really <laughs> okay anyway so I use backer rod, and this is just a cut piece, and it's actually not going to be long enough for his ears, but it doesn't matter because his ears are done. So I'm just going to be showing you how to do it. You can find the backer rod at Lowe's or Home Depot, and you can find the zip ties at Walmart. I don't think I mentioned that. Um, I think I usually go to Home Depot to get the backer rod, and it's usually like in the paint section. And then they also have more backer rod that's like this, but about half the size and it works better for like teeny little puppies right when they get cropped because this is too thick for a puppy's ears this is better for like a three month old four month old puppy not like a eight week old puppy um, and for the, the skinny backer rod all you have to do is cut a piece and fold it in half and then tape this together and tape this together and then it's almost as thick as this but not quite so smaller than this and works better for baby puppies. I also use tape. <clears throat> it's medical tape but it's the cloth medical tape which I get at Walmart. I don't know where else you can get it but my favorite kind is from Walmart. And this actually isn't the right kind of tape but it'll do just as well even if he wasn't done. And Kizzy, oh, you tired. Kizzy, come here. Come here. You're a silly. Kizzy, please. Lancelot, you want a treat? You want a treat? Treat? Oh, yeah, you good boy. I'll give you a treat. No, you come here. Oh, come here. Okay. <laughs> so before I tape their ears, I always clean them. And he is being stubborn. <laughs> come here. Um, I use these, but you don't have to. You can just use like alcohol and a cotton ball or a Q-tip. Works just as well. But I find these easy. I clean their ears really well. And before, I mean, right after I untape their ears, I don't leave them down for a day like some people would say because it makes it harder for the ears to be trained to stand because the longer you leave them down the longer you're gonna have to tape in the long run so I usually leave them untaped for about 20 minutes because that gives me enough time to give the dog a bath clean their ears and then fully dry their ears before retaping <laughs> you're a good boy yeah so cute come here oh Good boy. <laughs> good boy. You're a good boy. You should probably clean every time you do the ears just in case there's gunk or whatever. And anytime the tape gets wet, you have to remove the tape immediately. Otherwise, the dog can get an infection. Okay, so 
Let's start with the zip tie. I always cut off this part just to make it even. And I always cut off this part to make it even. Ugh, I'm gonna break my scissors. <laughs> okay. And then I cut the corners off so it's not sharp. It's better. Okay. I need you to get a close up. Okay, so how you measure the zip tie is there's a bump right here. Right there. There's like a hole, a groove. And so you put the zip tie right there. And you measure it up to the ear and try to pull the ear up. And so it stops right here. And that's where you cut. Or just a little longer than that. Just in case. So about right there. Okay. And then round off the edges again. Okay. And then you get tape sticky side is up and you put the zip tie in the middle of the tape and push it down and if you're using the white curly zip ties they're gonna curl and the way you want that is the curl let's see the curl facing like away from you so like this onto the sticky tape because the sticky side is gonna go onto the dog's ear so you're gonna want it to curl out not in cut it about right here and then you get another piece exactly the same size and you stick it sticky side up again so it's sticky side up to the not sticky side and the sticky side is still facing outwards so this side is sticky and this side is not Scissors suck. Okay, so I'm just gonna set this down on my lap so don't worry about that for a minute. On the other side, I get a piece a little bit just slightly longer than the other piece. Just a little bit. Doesn't need to be much. This is actually much longer than I should have cut it, but it's alright. Alright, how you, I need you to get close up. How you measure the backer rod is you stick it down in the ear. You're a good boy. And it only needs to go up to that bump, but just a little higher than the bump, like maybe a centimeter. So that's about right there. So I actually only need to cut it in half. Okay, so get close up, please. So the sticky side this, the end of the zip tie on one side is pretty close like you can see that right mm -hmm. just a little bit of tape at the end this side has a little bit more tape because that's going to be the top of the ear because it's going to attach to the other side he sees a cat sorry <laughs> so you put the zip tie that has just the short amount of extra tape into the bump get a close up into the bump and push it down but pull the ear up as you're pushing it down to stretch the ear up. And I push it down onto the ear. And then with the other piece of tape, I need Lancelot to sit up. Hold on. <laughs> Hi, you're a good boy. Come here. That's a good boy. Yeah, he's a good boy. Okay. <laughs> so the ear is up as close as you can. And I pull the ear up, and I put the tape as close to the bottom as you can. 
and I totally just did that backwards. <laughs> um, okay, so try again. <laughs> Close to the bottom of the ear as you can, by the head, and then you pull the ear up as you're pulling the tape up, and see that's way, 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 way too long. So I can just cut that off. Mm, that's not the right scissors. Hi, buddy. You're a good boy. And don't worry about if it's too long, because you can save it for the tip. So, I'm just going to set that on my lap for now. So his ear is up. Tape's there. What I should have told you is that I normally... Where's the tape? I normally start with the long pieces beforehand, so I don't have to worry about the dog moving. <laughs> I forgot in this video because it's been a while since I've taped. But um, normally you'd start off with pieces about this long, so it's the size of my hand. My hands are pretty large. Come here. Anyway, um, oh, you're a good boy. Good boy. Oh, where did that little phone piece go? This the right one. So you stick the foam in there. You can you can make it sticky on the outside if you want to using tape. I'm not going to because I don't find it necessary. I guess I can do it for this ear just to show you. I just think it's a waste of tape, honestly. But oh no, <laughs> no no no! I don't need hairy tape. Hmm. Okay, so what you do? You focus on me, okay? <laughs> okay. Um. Roll it backwards so the sticky side is out. I guess it makes it a little easier for taping, but I find it to waste more tape than necessary. Cut it. So the outside's sticky. Anyway, you pull the ear up, but make sure that the zip tie is behind the bump and stick the foam rod down in the ear and while you're still pulling up, push it against the ear. And the piece that you just cut, or that you probably should have had cut beforehand, you stick to the foam rod as low as you can. Low as you can. And then, oops. So you're holding the ear up. It's easier with another person, but it's okay. So you're holding the ear up, and you pull it. Make sure that the way you tape, the ear folds back. I need you to show them. The ear folds back. Some people make it go forward. I prefer it to go back because it is easier on the tips, I feel. Then I just fold it around, and it meets this side of the tape. You don't want to do it too tight because then you can cut off the circulation and that's not good but you don't want it too loose either but it's better to be loose than tight so um, you just if it's too loose just push it on it'll stick and you get another piece the other piece should be a little shorter than the other one but it doesn't matter if it's too long you can just either cut it off or just keep going around the circle Closer. And then you just get <laughs> good boy lens. You just overlap it a little bit. The last one that you did. No, 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 stay. You stay. Good boy. Overlap it a little bit. Make sure you're still pulling the ear up. Wrap around. And meet the other side. And then push it down. And then you have another piece, shorter than the last because there's less ear that you're going around. Just overlap it a little bit, and go around, and you can either keep folding it or you can cut off the extra, doesn't matter. And all I have is the tip left, 
That's about from right there to there. Um, this piece is a little short, but it'll do. And just keep going around. So I've completely covered the ear. All that's left is zip tie up to here. But the ear stops right here. So there's that much zip tie left. So don't worry, I'm not going to cut off my dog's ears. <laughs> so, you can either just go like this and cut off the extra tape. And you can feel your dog's ears, so you don't have to worry about that. You can either just go like this, or you can just cut straight across. Make sure you feel for dog's ear. And just cut the zip tie. Doesn't matter how you cut it. You don't even have to cut it if you don't want to. You can just leave it there. Doesn't matter. So that's one ear. Completely done. And normally it would fold just slightly outwards. Like, like that. Just slightly outwards so that it's not folding in at all. You don't want it to fold in because then it'll look like devil horns. And it does not look good. So come here Lance. <laughs> good boy. So that's one ear. You do the other ear exactly the same. And I'm not going to, I guess I can do it. Um, I'm just going to pause it because you don't need to watch the process again. It's the exact same. Just make sure that when you fold, you're folding with the fold of the ear. So you fold into the ear like this. Okay, I'm just going to pause and go ahead and do the other ear. Okay, so I got the other ear taped. Normally for little puppies, I would say use a bridge which you can either use a tape bridge you can either use a tape bridge or you can use the backer rod which we used right here in the ear and you just basically let me resituate myself <laughs> when you make a bridge you want to make sure that the ears are either straight up and down like not not like this straight up and down but not too close together not way too far apart but far apart is much better than too close together because if you tape it like this they're gonna stay like this if they're not taped so either make sure that the ears are parallel or slightly outwards but never close together never leaning inwards if they're leaning inwards redo the bridge because it'll mess up your dog's ears make them lean inwards so I always do them just slightly outwards like this good boy but he's old enough that I don't need a bridge and his ears can handle it because clearly they're already standing but for little puppies I would say definitely use a bridge because it'll just help the dog's ears stand easier without having to fight and right out especially right after surgery you don't want to have to put any more pressure on the ears than necessary so anyway that's my tape and I can show you how to untape them I use these nifty scissors <laughs> They are medical scissors, so the end of them is not sharp, it's completely flat. And it's great for taking off the tape. But I'll show you how to do that. Which ear was the one that was kind of... I'll take off this one. So how I do it... Is there's... There's the flat end, and there's the knife end. I put the flat end at the back of the ear. Typically towards... The incision side, but not necessarily the incision. You gotta remember that there's a fold right here. Get a close up. You have to remember that there's a fold right here. You can see it right here. So if you cut, if I were to cut right here, I would cut my dog's ears. So don't do that. And you don't want to cut on this side either because the ears fold it over. So it's dangerous. You might cut your dog's ear. So I always cut on the back, but I don't get the fold. I always put my thumb where the, where the fold is and then go about a centimeter over and just go straight up you can do it with regular scissors but medical scissors are a lot easier much 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 easier because they're flat Ooh, good boy good boy and then you just want to pull the tape off but do it gently Very gently. Doesn't hurt the dog, doesn't pull much hair out. Get it close up so they can see. 
I mean, it took off a little bit of hair, but not much. And if you ever get the, if the dog's ears get wet, like if you give the dog a bath, or you go outside and it rains, or they go play in a puddle or whatever, and the ears get wet, take the tape off immediately. Because they can get infected. Anyway, um, I'm just going to use the other scissors for the tip. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. All right. So you just gently peel it off. Don't rip it like a band-aid. <laughs> and then I kind of pull, now that it's all off the hair, I kind of pull in an upward direction. Just pull this out of the ear and then pull it up like this. You don't have to separate it, but I'm showing you. Alright, that's off. Done. And there's this. This you can either leave on or you can take off. It doesn't matter. If I want to take it off, I fold it like this and just take it off like that. Ta-da! It's all done. I'm going to leave the other side on just because I think that ear could use a little bit more time. But other than that, he is done. Good to go. You take the other one off the same way. And clearly, he's not bothered by it. <laughs> he's fast asleep. Alright. Thanks, guys.